they should not come with the table. Nobody should bring table. They should make the table together. Table has suffered in relationships. Nobody talks about the chair or the stool anymore. Everybody's on the table. So it has been very wonderful. And I want to thank God. And I want to give all the glory to God and give credit to my wife because um, he won't understand what I mean by that. Amen. You won't understand. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, Apostle Johnson Suleiman appreciated his wife on their marriage anniversary. He said good, powerful, and exciting words about Mama Lizzie. Let's go into the video and we'll listen to all the powerful words he said about his beloved wife. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, click the bell notification, and subscribe to this channel. Comment below when marriage will be exciting. Watch a full video next to this one. Am I talking to somebody here? So that is the first dimension, even in marriage. What it takes to enjoy marriage, marital relationship, is wisdom. Bible says, men, dwell with your wives according to knowledge. Now listen to me. I've known my wife for 19 years. I've been married for 13 years. My wife and I have never fought one day. Never fought. I'm not saying physical, even verbal fighting. Because there are secrets I know. There are secrets I taught her. There are secrets you must know as a man. We have never have we seen shaking? Of course. Have we seen hard times? Of course. Never. Because there are certain principles that guide my life. And if a man wants to have a good marriage, there are certain principles he will know about women. Whether woman of God, woman of devil, there are certain principles that make up a woman. Number one, every woman likes to talk. If a woman, there's no quiet woman. If a woman is not talking, it means the topic is not interesting. Every lady likes, there is no quiet person. Give her a topic she likes. You will see the talkativeness in her will come out. Eve wanted to talk. Adam was not available to talk. So Satan came and spoke to Eve and there was a conversation and Satan tempted Eve. There's a component medically in a woman that makes her have a capacity to release 5,000 words in one day. And there's a component in a man that makes him release 1,500 in a day. So if a woman releases 1,000 words in a day and you do not allow her exhaust to 5,000, she carries over 4,000 to the next day. When you keep telling her it's okay, it's okay, she carries another 4,000. By the day she's ready to release everything, you say you are nagging me. She's not nagging, it's carryover. So most times if my wife is talking, even if I'm not interested, I just listen. Let all the words flow. Let them just flow. When you enter a relationship with a, with a, with a lady, how, did you, how do you start a relationship? By talking. How do you maintain? Keep talking. Second thing about a woman, which you have to know, every man has to understand. If you get married tomorrow, you must know about women. Every woman likes a faithful man. True. Even though they are not faithful. <laughs> Three. Every woman likes a caring man. All this, I love you, I love you. It's because there's chicken on the table. Caring. There are brothers who are not nice, they are not humble, they are not rich, they are not caring. Who did this to you? You may not be able to pay my school fees, but just show some concern. At least just remind me, say how far, what is happening by your fees. Show some shock. fees you can't pay, question you can't ask. Who I might give you a bonus now. Mm. <laughs> Every lady likes a confident man. 
not my mother said, my father said, my mommy said, my mommy doesn't like you. My mommy, my mommy, my mommy does not like the way you smile. My mommy, somebody shout, bum boy. <laughs> you see a young man carrying his phone. Who is talking? So I'm talking to my mother. Mom. Mom. <laughs> 21 years old. <laughs> Mom. Oh, mommy, I love you too. Mom. <laughs> Somebody say, bum boy. <laughs> it's like I'm talking so much of the women this morning. Praise God. Okay, let me tell you what men like, right? <laughs> Brothers want to hear that one, yeah? Every man likes a truthful lady. Many ladies lie than the devil. Ladies, ladies, I know some of you say, but men lie. No, ladies lie than men. Yes. Check what you are wearing now as a lady. It's a lie. From head to toes is a lie. The hair is not real. The cloth is not real. Everything is a lie. So, ooh. Most people, most people, not all of them, most of them. Most of them. Eh? How many brothers agree with me here? <laughs> Men like truthful people, truthful ladies. Guilty women are always the most possessive. The guilty women, always jealous. Who, is, who, is, who did you save as oh 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 who did you say but our own phone our own phone has terrible password the kind of password on our phone if you hear you'll be shocked it's not a date of birth it's not a general password what does she use as password cassava what you will never find out what you can what you can <laughs> What you can never find out. What's a password? Toothpaste. The things that you can never find out. I've been around for a while, so I can tell you a lot of things, eh, man. Lies. Lies. Too much lies. When a man finds a truthful lady, he stays with her. A lady who can say it and it's like that. She does not lie. Even when she's wrong, she says, Yes, I did it, but I'm sorry. I know I'm wrong. I know I but some people she catch them with the devil. They will say it's their cousin. Should I go back to my message now? What, what was I going to say before? <laughs> oh God. Uh, uh, mo okay, money. Sorry. <laughs> Praise God. I know some ladies were happy I was talking in their favor. So that's why I have to talk for the brothers. Amen. Stop lying. Every man, number two, every man likes a neat lady. Too many makeup can make you look like a herbalist. Your, your hair is purple your eyebrow is red your, this, your, 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 your lip gloss is green your palm cake is blue you look like the map of Nigeria and you look like you look like Amadioha what is your problem you look like a village shrine you are walking about if you think it's a human being walking that's a deity Arushi that's a deity When you see some lady, if you see their lips, you will know there is power in the blood of Jesus. If you see their lips, you are students. I'm encouraging. <laughs> ah! I, one day, one of my daughters came to my office. One of my daughters came to my office, dressed, short. 
and she just came. I said, stop, stop. What happened? What's happening? Is it not that that I'm going to church? I said, like this. I said, run, 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 run. Go and change, go and change. I said, go and change you because there are people like this. They just carry you from here to the zoo. Or they use it, they use it for artifacts. You know artifacts? They keep you so that when tourists Amen. That's the only problem I have with people. They say Apostle Suleiman has a bad mouth. But uh, I'm preaching. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Every man likes a humble lady. Humble. Humble. I was engaged when my wife was greeting me, sir. Good morning, sir. I was engaged. You see all this jet age now? All this jet age has spoiled a lot of things. Many young girls are too proud, too arrogant, too arrogant and pompous in stupidity. Too arrogant. A man is talking to you. That's how you're pressing your phone. Mm -hmm. Say, are you hearing me? Can you hear me? Am I deaf? Mm -hmm. Amen. Too arrogant, too proud. I was sitting one day in the plane, and um, I was close to the. What was I sitting? Okay, I was sitting one. I don't know whether one A or one C or one C. Somebody one F. I don't know. But there was an elderly lady close to the emergency exit, and I was sitting by her side. She was almost 75, 80. And you know, if you are sitting at the emergency exit, you have to be fit. So you can, in case there's emergency, you can do something. So I was sitting by the side. And a young lady, I know, they just came. Hello, sir. Please, sir. This woman is old. Can you move? Eh? Me. From South South. Can you move? I just ignored her. I can say, sir, please. Sir, I say move. This girl will suffer today. If it's me, you want to address like this. All of a sudden, I didn't move. Because I was to move to that side so the elderly lady can come to the other side. One young guy just came. He said, good day, sir. Ooh, nice jacket, nice suit. He was going somewhere. Oh. Nice jacket, nice shoes. Wow. Sir, you look good, though. I said, thank you. He said, sir, do you use our airline all the time? He pushed the lady aside. I said, do you use our airline all the time? I said, yes, I'm a frequent flyer. So he said, sir, I... I don't know how to tell you this. You know this elderly woman now. She can't. No, if there's an emergency, she cannot do anything. I don't know if to tell you to move or to help us. You know, before I finish talking, I unbutted my seatbelt and I moved. Did he not achieve something? But why? He was respectful. <laughs> Me? You don't understand. I don't take nonsense from men. I don't take nonsense from men. Any man that talk to me, I push it, you man. He owe me. Agbasuzi, Agbasuzi. You surprised that at 40, you are still single? Then children. When you start seeing children in school. Give me an example of a skeleton. It's a anti Monica. Because... <laughs> because Agba Susi has no regard for anybody Agba Susi is not humble am I talking to somebody here we are like we are like a basket OFM is like a basket when you think you are trying to sink it it's floating and the things we have seen in the past one year has been mind-blowing around the world around the world mind fearful in nations we have the gospel there are nations we have churches and there is no african church there there are nations we have church, at least we have done crusades and just i'm the only person that's been there some chronic towns and it has just been god someone said to me when he saw what god did he said now i know why the enemy was angry he said, because this is God. I want to thank her publicly. For not, for not giving up. For not, for standing with me. For believing, for supporting.
For all the problems I gave her, all the battles I, I inherited for myself, I inherited national battles. I thought I would solve, I was the one to solve Nigeria's problem. I inherited so, so I thank you. Thank you. I really, really thank you. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. And I want to believe God that the next 20 years is going to be better than this last. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Everybody! Come on, shout! Thank you for watching the video to this far. And I believe you have been blessed by this video. Marriage is a good thing. And God instituted marriage for Christians and for everybody to enjoy. Marriage is for enjoyment and not for enjoyment. If your marriage is going through suffering, struggling, and going through the storm, then I pray for you that after this video, may God repair every broken thing in your marriage. Your marriage will be sweet, it will be better if you become a better version of yourself. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to watch more videos from the camp of Apostle Johnson Suleiman about marriage, then watch the video next to this one. Always remember, we just never quit. Quit us. Never win. Yes, you can.